welcome back guys. We're teaching these guys how to build a wicked back today. We're using a series of different techniques. We're doing some ascending sets, descending sets. We're doing some heavy training. We're doing some 8, 8, 16 drop sets, 6, 12, 25 drop sets. And then we're gonna finish off with some constant tension time sets at the end. So a lot of different physiology stuff going on here. Combined with optimal muscle mechanics, these guys are gonna get a deadly, deadly back workout. Keep my hands full. Keep that tension on my hands the whole time. So try and fill up my hands with tension. There you go, keep that tension on. Don't lose it now on the negative, keep that on. There you go. I want you to contract harder on the way down. Squeeze, 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 right through, right through. Good. I've been following Vince for years now, probably since 2005, 2006 when he came out. Um, got some great results from his programs and I'm here today to learn more. Oh, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. Get those last short, good. Those last should be burning. There you go. Yeah. Keep those arms straight. Keep those arms straight. There you go. Oh, good job, man. Let's get some big drops in when you do that 8 8 16. Really, really push each other. Yeah, you guys should be spotting each other through that whole thing. Okay, first things first. Nice and tall. Chest up. Good. So, what we want when we're training the back is active tension. So, if he goes so far forward, there's no more tension on the lat. It looks, it's a false stretch. It's, it's, it's being stretched, but to no benefit. All right, so when you come forward, there's still tension on your lats. Because if you go so far forward, it just comes off. Right. The lats just now resting. So we want that lat engaged. So we don't, we allow it to stretch, but with active tension. You guys understand that? Right. Okay, great. That, you gotta touch Patrick's hands. There you go, give him an end point, give him an end point. Don't change your trunk, you keep your trunk on. There you go. You gotta do more work at the back here though. You're doing a lot of work in the mid-range where you're already strong. Yeah. If you want to develop your back, you got to get better where you're weaker. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There you go, you feeling what that feels like? Yeah. Now you try to do that on your own. And you got to squeeze harder, my man. Yeah, you're making this look way too easy. You got to squeeze harder. Don't let the tension off so quickly. There you go, right there, and back down. That's it. Let's find where it gets hard. Right there, right back down. Good. So what we want to do is find a grip here that feels healthy on your shoulder. This exercise tears up more shoulders than you ever believe. Okay, so, so if it's, for most people, it's just this. I don't care which grip you guys use here, just make sure that whatever position you're in, you feel strong, okay? I truly appreciate everything he puts, uh, all the time he puts in, you know, doing the Poliquin seminars and all the, all the knowledge base he has, so I'm excited to get started. Yeah, you gotta definitely bring those lats out. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, so what you're gonna think about is when you're pulling elbows out and down. See, that's the problem with the pull up. Everyone thinks pull up. I want you to think about pulling out. Hands up again, pull out. There you go. That's gonna start engaging this stuff. Okay. So you've created a habit to pull up, which has made these, these arms look great, but has underdeveloped your back. Okay. So that's your cue, pull out. Elbows flared out, think about elbows out and down. Okay, because you really got to get those lats yeah. into a position where they can go through a range of motion. Yeah. Right now, you just got a lot, you look at your development, you got great arms, but no back. Yeah. Okay, chest up the whole time, Autumn. Don't change your trunk position, there you go. Don't use your arms first, use your back first. Contract your back. Okay, all right guys, we're gonna wrap up this workout with one intensifier. We're going constant tension time sets, two minutes, a person, the weight does not stop. All right, constant movement, whether it's littles at the top or littles at the back, I don't care. That weight keeps moving. All right, let's get the watch on. Three, two, one, you're up. Try not to look at it as one rest, one rest. Look at it as constant tension, that's better. Constant movement, constant movement, there you go. There you go, there you go. You guys are at a minute. Keep going, halfway there. 115, 45 seconds to go, guys. This is nasty. Let's go, Britt, you got this, girl. Keep it working, you got it. Five seconds, guys, four, three, two, one, good job. All right, let's switch it up. So today's back day, we're doing a touch-up set for chest. 
What that means is that we're gonna do a few quality sets with an intensifier technique to stimulate it. This intensifier technique for this camp are two minute constant tension time sets. Excruciating. So these guys are using a machine chest press and they're not letting the weight stop. Full two minutes, three sets, that's how we wrap up this back workout with the chest touch up. 15 seconds guys, let's go, let's go. Don't get sloppy Patrick, don't get sloppy. Come on Patrick, keep it on buddy. Don't get sloppy on me. There you go buddy, don't get sloppy. Five, four, three, two, one, you guys are done. Good job. <laughs> These guys are getting it done. That's workout two down at the Tampa Muscle Camp. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. When was the last time you grimaced on the first set of your bicep curls? I don't know. Come on. Squeeze hard. Put 15 pounds. 15 pounds and he's grimacing. What's that all about? Degrees. Okay, you're gonna work with the right arm first. So that stays there. Keep that engaged. Engage your tricep. Now work with the right arm. Good. Hold it more in the middle.